So we're taking a closer look at uh, planet Earth this month uh, and how the International Space Station plays such an important role as a platform for studying it. And joining me today to talk a little bit more about that, Dr. Lisa Vanderblumen, uh, who's the manager of our Earth Science and Remote Sensing Office here at JSC, yep. who actually gets to work with the astronauts on pretty much a daily basis and their role in actually monitoring the Earth from above. So first off, just tell me, why is it valuable? Why is it important to use the station as a platform, you know, to take a closer look at our planet. Well, Dan, uh, everyone should realize that the Earth is very dynamic yes. and it's constantly changing. Um, and so uh, from the viewpoint on Earth, it's very hard to see large scale uh, changes and so forth. So if we step away and we can look at the Earth from above, uh, we can get a very good feel for all of the dynamic changes that are happening both in the ocean, in the atmosphere, on land, and so forth. And, and climate change, as we all know, is a big thing these days. Mm -hmm. And so um, it gives us a good opportunity to look at things like aerosols, um, pollution, uh, changes in the the atmosphere, changes in the the um, ocean winds, and so forth. So lots of uh, good opportunities. We can even look at changes in forest canopy and so forth. So. So there's a lot you can see when you're, you know, traveling 260 some miles above 17,000 miles. They're, they're covering a lot of ground. Yep. How do you guys actually, you know, pick and choose some of the stuff that they are? you know, assigned to look at to investigate? Well, recently, within the last year or so, uh, we developed a system on our website where uh, we actually have a forum that scientists and educators can actually apply for uh, sites, for targets. And so okay. we, we read those, we review those, and we either approve or disapprove, usually approve. And so um, lots of good studies out there for both scientists, uh, educators, and teachers and students are also involved in asking for sites. Uh, we also so um, one of our major charters is involved, we're inv involved with the IDC, the International Disaster Charter. Mm -hmm. So anytime any uh, uh, major event occurs, disaster occurs, we make that a priority target for the astronauts to take. Things like forest fires, yep. hurricanes, stuff flooding, like that. Flooding, flooding, uh, any of those types of things. And lots of times it's in third world countries as mm -hmm. well, where it's very helpful for, if we can get some imagery back to those folks, it, it helps in the recovery and that type of thing. Okay, so. and you actually, so you brought a couple of samples, some of the stuff, I mean, yes. anytime we see views, of Earth and above, it's always stunning. So just you know, walk us through a couple of these. Sure. Tell us what we're looking at. Sure. This one is uh, just an example of what the type of detail that we can see. Uh, and this is geological, obviously. It's in, uh, it's the Colorado River in the Grand Canyon, and you can see the 3D view there, and you can actually see if you look close enough, the uh, the waterfall, the water flowing through the oh, river. Wow. Uh, this is one of our favorites. Uh, this is uh, Aurora Borealis, uh, the Northern Lights. And what you're seeing here is Western Canada uh, and British Columbia and so forth. Those are the lights that you see there. And some of the lights there also uh, are due to a lot of the oil drilling and the fracking that's going oh, on wow, in that really? region. Yep, and you can actually see that from space. So beautiful. Uh, here's an example of an actual volcano um, the, uh, in Papua New Guinea. Okay. Uh, it's one of the most uh, active volcanoes there, and we actually caught it as it was uh, erupting. Very active area there tectonically. Um, here's a good study that we've uh, actually looked at using multiple imagery. Uh, you can see there in 2002 versus 2013, uh, 2013 um, that you see the Uppsala Glacier down in the Patagonia in South America. Mm -hmm. You can see that uh, it, we've actually, it's melted quite a bit just in the 10 to 11 years there. The edge of it uh, in 2002 was to the left there, to the right is where it's actually melted uh, due to warming uh, in 2013. So we can actually see that with imagery. Mm -hmm. Here's a recent, very recent example of some of the uh, volcanoes that we see down in Peru and Bolivia. Uh, and you can see uh, just the detail that you see there is just amazing. Uh, here, this is very interesting. I, I really like this image. Um, this is the Koreas, and you can see that oh, wow, to yeah. the right there is um, uh, South Korea. I'm sorry, North Korea, and to the left there, uh, uh, where you see no lights whatsoever, mm -hmm. is actually North Korea, which is indicative of the political situation there. And you have China to the top there. And here's another nighttime vision vision uh, of uh, Cairo, Egypt, and it, you can see the Nile extending to uh, south of Cairo. Cairo there, excuse me, uh, and you 
can see that the lights obviously indicate where folks are uh, civil uh, living and so forth. And also to the north of Cairo is the actual um, river basin, if you will, uh, the delta uh, from the, the Nile. Wow, so able to you know track a lot of geological and man uh, and man-made things you know, from the station. I think Correct. we also have a video real quick. Oh yeah. Um, if you could walk us through that as well. Sure. We, uh, we one of our fun activities. We have quite a uh, a lot of fun activities. Is to actually put together a lot of these images. Here you can see we're moving from Mexico. Uh, you saw uh, Houston there, San Antonio, mm -hmm. um, and we keep uh, moving towards the east. Uh, uh, east sort of northward here and you'll see some more imagery coming some more cities coming up Birmingham Atlanta Nashville Memphis st. Louis uh, to the left there in the image and we're continuing to move towards the east here and again these are made from uh, single images and you see Indianapolis Charlotte uh, there Charlotte North Carolina and now we're moving up along the eastern seaboard if you will of the United States and you can see uh, Washington DC with all the lights in Philadelphia New York City uh, to the to the west is Toronto and Detroit there you'll see also uh, some of the lakes there the darker features um, and then we continue to move up north along the east coast. You see Boston, uh, Canada to the left there, to the west, Montreal and Ottawa. And again, very, very clear in these images uh, or these photos uh, where civilization is residing. And I mean, they're, they're stunning just to look at. Mm -hmm. I mean, those, mm -hmm. those pictures, it's almost like looking at stars and galaxies yep. in a picture from Hubble, but it's really just the cities it right is. below these astronauts. It is. It's fascinating. So, the station, obviously, people on it. What what are some of the advantages of having people in the loop instead of just, you know, remote satellites up in orbit? Well, it's interesting. My background is remote sensing using satellites. Mm -hmm. And so I've come here and, and saw, have been able to see the advantages of having handheld photography. Um, as I mentioned earlier, one of our uh, major emphasis is, is on international disaster charters. Yep. And these are events that are dynamic and occur uh, overnight. And so um, if we have a human there that can, we quickly turn around and get those images taken, um, that's very, very important. And uh, we don't have to task a satellite to actually take some images. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quicker. Uh, people, and also the, the public just loves the human interaction, yep. knowing that a person took this picture. And so that's just a, a real plus there. And, and I heard you got a call from space once too. That must have been really cool. Yes, I did. One of the astronauts, uh, uh, Gerst, actually gave us a call to just chat and have some questions mm -hmm. for us. And I got the rest of the, uh, the members of the group into the office just because that's that doesn't happen very often but uh, we, we do get a chance to deal with the astronauts I had uh, Sam Christopher Eddy come into my office as well and chat mm -hmm. about things so it's it's a lot of fun it's, uh, to, to get to talk to these humans um, in this in this regard great all right well again dr. Lisa Vanderblumen uh, the manager of our uh, earth sensing and from Earth Science and Remote Sensing at JSC. I'm sorry. Too it. many titles. Yep. Um, but again, thank you so much for joining me. Sure. We're going to be looking at the Earth all month long uh, and how the station is a part of uh, monitoring it. Um, thanks so much for joining here. And awesome pictures. Always a blast to look at. A lot of fun. Thanks.